Students head back to class. Their safety remains a top priority. No doubt, whether it's recent incidents of gun violence like Uvalde or at Olathe East for that matter, area districts are learning and adapting. Safety is always number one. We have to have training. We have to have a priority. Uh, there are a lot of things that we've done well, but of course we're still going back to look to see ways we can improve upon what we've been doing. When it comes to making schools as secure as possible, it seems in many cases there's still some room for improvement. In fact, the KSHB 41i team found out nationally about a quarter of classroom doors are unable to lock from the inside. So tonight we are getting a look at how a school district in the Kansas City Metro was trying to keep students safe with a focus on door security. Investigator Cameron Taylor shows us the extra tool to keep classroom doors locked. Doris Canaday has two full-time jobs. She runs an after-school center called The Cave, and she's a mom. Kindergarten, fourth grade, fifth grade, and seventh grade. Her kids are enrolled in the Raytown School District. School security has been top of mind, especially after the mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas, that killed 19 children and two teachers. It really caused me to think, um, even consider letting them go back to school. One of the many issues uncovered after Uvalde was that their classroom doors could not lock from the inside. A 2020 survey from the National Center for Education Statistics found one in four public schools do not have that basic safety feature. The KSHB 41i team found out the education departments in Missouri and Kansas do not track this kind of data. We went to Raytown schools to see what measures they have in place. One of the issues in Uvalde was the fact that their classrooms did not have interior locks. Can you tell me what the case is here in Raytown? In Raytown, all of our rooms have interior locks. We're in what's called a soft lockdown at all times. So not only do we have doors that lock, but our doors are always maintained in a locked position and closed. That way we can prevent that, um, that instant threat. Okay. So what we're doing is we're preventing this door from opening. Here in Raytown, they also have this tool. It's called the Barracuda, and it's in every classroom in the district. Chief Information Officer Melissa Tebenkamp showed us how it works at Little Blue Elementary. The Barracuda is another layer of protection in case a door lock fails. I'm going to slide it all the way over this way, slide that over that way, put my pin in, and now you're not getting through that door. The district spent nearly $34,000 on the devices in 2015. Tevin Camp explained how the Barracuda would help during an active shooter situation. They're looking for easy access and we want to make that access as difficult as possible in every single one of our classrooms. Your first line of defense in some buildings might be to either lock the door or shut the door. We've already prevented those two barriers to safety and we keep our students safe inside our locked classrooms at all times. And it's not just classroom doors. Here in Raytown, they have a plan for exterior doors too. The district has what's called guided entry. They funnel visitors to one entrance at a school. From here, you come in, you check in with a secretary, she verifies your ID, and then at that point, determines whether or not you can access the rest of the school. On top of that, the district installed one-way vision film. Visitors can't see in, but staff members can see out. Do you think those tools are enough? Never. Tools are never enough. We could have as many tools in our classrooms as, you know, we can financially afford, and that won't be enough. We have to have training. We have to have a priority. For parents like Canada, knowing these safety measures are in place gives her comfort. That lets me know that the teachers and staff care about the children in their schools. Putting some of her worries at ease. For the KSHB 41i team, I'm Cameron Taylor.